Good morning. And as you can probably see, it is winter. It's uh, pretty frosty, but thankfully the roads are clear in between my house and War Games Workshop, where I've come once again because there is a tournament run by the Outriders MK. Tournament is bolt action, as it usually is when I come to these games, because that's my favourite game. You may also be able to tell that my voice is awful. I've had a cough for several days now, and so I'm going to keep my scarf on so that I don't cough all over the other competitors. It just seems polite. But, also interestingly, this tournament has reduced the points cost from the usual 1,000 down to a very small 600 points. And 600 points is an excellent starter entry point into Bolt Action, and so we're hoping to have brought in a few new players. And so, as I go in, we'll see if that's the case. But first, I'll pass over to hopefully a recovered voice version of me, where I can talk about the models that I have brought. And the models that I brought are all here. 600 points of British this time. I've finally got my Desert Rats to a game. Leading up the lot is a solo officer, and naturally I have the core two rifle squads, each with one submachine gun and one light machine gun. The unpainted NCO here is Stanley Hollis, the model I won last month. I have a few choices of support teams, a veteran sniper, light mortar, and of course the free British artillery observer. The only vehicle is the Big Mouse, a Daimler armoured car that got its nickname because it hunts big cats. And it's the only real anti-armour unit that I have in my whole list. Finally, as if only to use up the points, are a squad of four SAS, all with submachine guns. Now, they do have some special rules and fancy things that I didn't even bother to read up on, so they're essentially just a little veteran submachine gun section. And of course, that is Paddy Main leading them. Now all my models are going well, but what wasn't going well was getting into the event. I appear to have made a slight miscalculation at some point, uh, because by arriving at quarter to nine, giving myself quarter an hour before the event starts, uh, it's now been an hour, and I've just checked the event page, which tells me quite clearly that it starts at ten. So I've wasted an hour of my time, hopefully, and one will arrive soon to open up. Oh well. Well, I did get in eventually, and as soon as the doors opened, one of those new players we were hoping for bought themselves a Panzer III and set about having it built. And it was built, a lot nicer than the one I put together at Warlord Games a few months ago. I usually help out with setting up tables, but my patient zero cough, I felt maybe keeping my distance was a better idea. And after fighting for so long to get my winter soviets onto a winter board, my desert brits got to play on the desert board in their very first game. And once again, third event in a row, we get to play against the same German player with that little bike. There are two objectives in the first game, and we chose to place them pretty much next to each other, so both of us expected a tight little punch up. But, as the order dice were pulled for deployment, my fate was sealed. They deployed their stew with tank riders close to the objective, and I knew I had to get the big mouse around behind it to have a good chance of causing damage. So, I raced it up the other side of the board, which was a big risk. A risk that failed almost instantly, as my opponent had one last order die to deploy, and that was a truck filled with Panzerfausts. Well, three of them at least and three is more than enough to take out an armoured car, and the big mouse fell in turn one. One of my rifle squads got essentially stuck in down mode, which did waste most of the stew's firepower, so not entirely invaluable. The other rifle squad, and with the SAS turning up for some fun times, got stuck into the objective, but the fighting slowly whittled them down to just not quite enough, and at the end of the game, there were not enough of them to contest either objective, let alone take one. Game number the second saw my Brits go up in a training exercise against some Brit commandos, an interesting and very different platoon and playstyle to the Brits that I use. 
This was, of course, the Sectors game type, a classic table quarters game, and the commandos took my usual tactic of herring forward into the opponent's table quarter. Being new to the British regulars, I did my best to spread out and find cover for some defensive fire, which didn't seem to go well at first, with very few of my units getting shots off, and one of them even taking a direct hit from a mortar, a six on a first try, just as they got to cover. But I stuck with it and I kept the fire up, and I brought in the big mouse in the SAS from my second table quarter, who instantly handed out some punishment. The big mouse again ending in a vulnerable spot with the commando's Piat charging in close enough to only need a three to hit, and rolling a two. Things got so close that even my officer got a shot off with his pistol, the first time I have ever shot anything with a pistol in bolt action. But after this, the game was turning, and my entrenched units got salvo after salvo, and the weight of fire slowly added up. And eventually, about half of my starting models remaining, and only a handful of the commandos left on the board. My final game was against an army I've not played or even seen played before, the Finns. They have a national special rule that they can advance into ambush and get a plus one to hit from ambush to boot, which made moving up on them difficult and sitting still also quite a bit more dangerous than it otherwise would be. I quickly realized that I wasn't going to be winning an even fight, and so I pulled my units over to my right flank, leaving my left flank out to dry. Unfortunately, my opponent realized quite quickly and moved their units over to match. On the right, my artillery observer brought down some fun and scattered pins across the Finnish units, which gave me a very small opening for a little blood-curdling charge, and so I did manage to wipe out at least one squad there. Unfortunately, that opening wasn't quite enough for me, and the objective stayed in the hands of snowy models on the desert board. Although strangely, they did get close enough to my sniper for them to use their pistols, and this time I did get a casualty with a pistol shot. So even with the game lost, I was pretty happy with that. It's good to be happy with the silly little things happening in game, because I came fifth out of the six players in attendance. Unfortunately, it was a quiet day with only a few people in attendance, but it was still good fun. And you may have noticed that some of my models have been damaged over the course of the few games, which is amazing as I'm somewhat famous for mistreating my Soviet models and haven't broken any of them yet, but my Brits all fall to bits in their first game day. I also won in the raffle a 251 Stummel, which is handy for my German force that I'm putting together at some point soon. I was considering a transport, and well, hey, that's one sorted. So that's all I need to cover for this month, and the series will of course return next month, and I'm planning on trying out a unit that doesn't get used a whole bunch in bulk action, just to see what it's like. But for now, I'm Edscar, always will be, and thank you very much for watching.